What I can tell you is based on the preliminary review that we have done at this time, we have seen similarities in the device that exploded here last night and the other three devices that have exploded in Austin starting on March 2nd. Again, this is preliminary information, but we have seen similarities. The big difference in this device, again, is we believe that a tripwire was used in this device. Well, again, as we said from the very beginning, we were not willing to classify this as terrorism, as hate, because we just don't know enough. And what we have seen now is a significant change from what appeared to be three very targeted attacks to what was last night an attack that would have passed, that would have hit any, a random victim that happened to walk by. So we've definitely seen a change in the method that this suspect or suspect is using. Well, again, we've, we've opened ourselves up for a message, and that's why we asked him to contact us and gave him phone numbers to contact us at. And again, we won't understand what the motive might be behind this or the reason behind this until we have an opportunity to talk to the suspect or suspects that are involved.